Hello, YouTubers. Uh, for today's episode, we're going to discuss uh, search engines, in particular, dark web search engines. Now, most of you are familiar with the three major search engines that are out there being obviously Google, which has the largest market share. There's also Yahoo and Bing. And as we discussed in previous videos of surface web versus deep web versus dark web, um, these search engines are used to index pages on the surface web, right? So you can type in your fa you know, whatever your favorite news site is or media site or things like Amazon and Netflix. All those websites are searchable through standard search engines. Now, the dark web is different. Um, it's, it has a lot of different hidden services and it's not actually indexed by the classic three search engines. So the question that often arises is, well, when you're on the dark web, how do you search? Are there search engines that exist? And so we're going to actually talk about uh, five of the big search engines that are on the dark web. And then we're gonna talk about a sixth one, which is a little bit of a hybrid. And so the five we're gonna discuss today are, one is EMEA, um, another one is called Not Evil, a third one is called Candle, a fourth one is called Grams, a fifth one is called Torch, and then the sixth one uh, that I want us to talk about a little bit is called DuckDuckGo, and that's a little bit of the hybrid one. So first, um, we're going to start off with Amia, and Amia searches hidden Tor services, open source, as a really clean and fast interface. And so for each of these, I'm going to do two test cases to kind of give you all a, a sense of are these search engines, you know, kind of practical or usable for someone who's maybe going from the standard surface web and all of a sudden enters the dark web for the first time and is maybe looking for content and information. So we're going to do two tests. One is I'm going to call the LeBron James test. And so we're going to search on LeBron James and see what content we get back. And the second is uh, I'm going to search on the term Bitcoin because Bitcoin does have a lot of connotations with transactions on, on, the, on the dark web. So here we go with our first test. So we're going to type in LeBron James. And so we see that you know what we really don't get a lot any relevant content back ab about uh, LeBron James. It actually you know says, "Did you mean uh, Libros James?" So we can see this site okay doesn't really kind of isn't going to give us anything relative to, to LeBron James in terms of standard content. So let's try Bitcoin. And so now we actually do we we have some positive responses. Uh, in terms of Bitcoin generators, Bitcoin exploits. Um, there is a lot of different information here about Bitcoin mining. So you can see this, this search engine is very much dedicated to dark web content and um, dark web services. So look, next up is Not Evil. Uh, so Not Evil has 20 plus million onion links indexed. It's a nonprofit. Um, it, it tries to enforce, you know, no, there are no ads or abusive content, and this, but the sorting is not really intuitive. So let's just go through and we will try, let's see, search on LeBron James, let's see what we get. So again, here we don't really see anything. We see a lot of uh, pornographic uh, links that uh, I'm not gonna, not going to click on, um, but no real relevant content, uh, at least in this initial page, the first page, in terms of that would equate to LeBron James as compared to we, obviously we would get a ton of results if we were using Google, Bing, or Yahoo on the surface web. So now let's do our second test with Bitcoin. In here, yep, so Bitcoin dumps, uh, Bitcoin mixer, so it looks like we have some deep links uh, about Bitcoin. There's some foreign, it looks like Cyrillic sites related to Bitcoin, Bitcoin mining, crypto stack. 
So again, we can see that this not the not evil uh, search engine is very is highly geared towards really just purely dark web content, and we're not going to find any other type of really relevant information. So this wouldn't be a, a quote unquote replacement for um, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. Next up is Candle. So it actually looks a lot like Google. It has that really kind of clean interface, um, really um, simple. It offers different um, type of operations that uh, you can you can input here. Um, the big difference is unlike Google, where you can put in Boolean operators, um, different parentheses. There's nothing here. You can clearly see no Boolean operators, no quotes, just words. So it's a very, very simplified, despite the Google look, it is a very simplified search engine. So let's try again with LeBron James. And again, we d we get two results back, neither of which look like they relate at all to uh, LeBron James. Let's try Bitcoin. So bang, again, 2019 online Bitcoin generator pool exploits. So uh, very similar to the AMIA um, search engine that we did before, Bitcoin, the hidden wiki. So a lot of content related to, to Bitcoin. And so the point I'm trying to kind of show here is that just because something is a search engine doesn't mean it necessarily has con access to all of the content that you would, you would normally expect. And part of the reason for this is these three, as you can see, are on the Onion network. So they are websites that are on that have a dot onion next to them. Now there are a lot of normal sites, quote unquote, surface web sites that also have a replicated onion address. So just because something is on the onion network doesn't necessarily uh, mean that it's a, a bad site and can't be be accessed um, by, by, a, by a search engine. Next up is Grams. Uh, so this, again, clean interface, um, fairly intuitive. It lists a lot of products for sale that are really targeted uh, for dark web markets. So I don't expect anything um, to actually show up here for LeBron James, but let's give it a shot. So again, nothing here, no, no, no content, no search results return. Let's try Bitcoin. And yeah, as we expect, very similar. Uh, the wiki, wiki page, crypto mixers, um, different forums, even some 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 Twitter feeds uh, around it. <clears throat> so that content matches up pr pretty pretty closely. The the fifth one that really is exclusive to the Onion Network and and really are the quote unquote five of the five of the big not the only ones there are others but five of the big dark web search engine is torch it's a very rudimentary search engine i would um think of it as a cross between the not evil and the candle search engine so we type in lebron james And we do actually get one result. So there is a result here for looks like some some game highlights from from just about a week or so ago. So this actually did produce some some information. So it looks like there is an onion link here um, that is related to some of, of that content. I'm gonna give it a quick click since we actually finally did get a legitimate result for LeBron here and see what we get. So there we, there we see, it looks like full game highlights um, from YouTube. So it's probably some videos that someone scraped from YouTube and, and posted. Now go to Bitcoin, we should expect again. So a lot of, so this actually has a lot of Cyrillic sites that jump right to the top 
um, and then some other things that really just relate to to coffee and and looks like some cannabis. So Bitcoin. So this one returns some decent results around Bitcoin, but compared to you know candle and and not evil, uh, where we got a lot a lot of really relevant results around Bitcoin. This one not so much. The sixth one I want to discuss in terms of a little bit of a, a hybrid is uh, DuckDuckGo. Um, it's kind of the, the anti-Google, um, for lack of a better term. It doesn't store or track your behavior at all. So this is actually a very viable alternative for searching on the surface web while protecting your privacy because none of that data is, is stored, as opposed to Google, really, unless you go in and, and set a lot of your privacy parameters to very strict, they are tracking everything you do. Um, GPS is often enabled. You're, if you're using Google Maps, where you go, where you've been, is all stored, and they're gonna use that for, for ad targeting or, or, or other advertising in the future. So let's try our test here. So LeBron James. So here we get a ton of results. So jumps to the first thing is the Wikipedia page for LeBron James. Um, so a lot of, of relevant re results for, for LeBron. And this, this does make sense because this DuckDuckGo is not on the Onion Network, so it does have a lot more access to obviously surface web content. And if we look at Bitcoin, again, a ton of relevant results, a lot of graphics, uh, Wikipedia page, Bitcoin.com. So a ton of really great information um, that, that's available through this search engine. It may not have as much volume as Google, um, and some of the some of the relevant searches aren't as aren't going to be as honed to you because again, they're not tracking everything you do. But this is a if, if you have topics or you're really concerned about privacy, this is a really great alternative search engine. Now for one last test, just to be fair, I'm going to the DuckDuckGo onion link. So this is the DuckDuckGo search engine tied to the onion network. So all the first five browsers we did had that dot onion you link and we didn't see a lot of good results and then we went to the the non duck duck go link we actually did get a lot of legitimate results for lebron and bitcoin so but in, all, in order to really look do an apples to apples comparison we're gonna now see the duck duck go link that's that is from the onion um uh, url so as i mentioned earlier there are a lot of uh, legitimate websites and forums that both have a surface web um, URL along with a, a, an onion network URL. And so DuckDuckGo is an example. So let's do our LeBron James test here and see what we get. So you can see almost it looks like almost the exact same results that were on the Onion Network compared to what DuckDuckGo was doing on, on its surface web URL. And also Bitcoin. So very similar, almost looks like exact results. So you can see that the difference is when you're on a dot, dot .onion network, you have access to all those other dot onion websites and forums. So DuckDuckGo is a really interesting alternative if you just want to be on the surface web and have privacy and protection and get access to a lot of the surface web content, but also if you're looking to get access to some of the hidden onion uh, services and websites. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and provide comments.